that thing warm up a little bit. All right, headed into the woodlot again this morning. Um, nice snowy morning. These snowy mornings are, are good because, uh, I mean, I get plenty of snow and everything now, but um, dragging these trees out of the woods, out of the woodlot into the field where I'm milling, um, dragging them through the snow is nice because it, it keeps the it keeps the bark free of mud and detritus. And uh, so I'm going to take one of these pines <clears throat> in this little thicket over there and I'm going to drop it into the other field and then pull back up through that little woods road. So come along. keep I've got kind of pruned to get a couple logs out of that's a nice tree I want to save that that's got some great marketability here in uh, you know 10 20 years these are hemlocks that I go along and I, when I was younger and pruned up to get a good saw log out of might be this big big guy right here hmm that's pretty nice here I think I'll say nice. maybe that's the one I was thinking right actually right up into the the other field that'd be more convenient wouldn't it that would be more convenient not gonna touch that big old bull pine I think that's the ticket let's go back to that other field and pull that in back up into it we're in it now By this point, you probably know the routine, but I'll go through it anyway. I'm grabbing the axe, got a couple wedges in my pocket, and I'm gonna grab the big saw for felling, and then I'm gonna follow this cable back up to that tree right there, and I'm gonna pull it back in this direction. You probably couldn't hear any of that because the idling tractor. Tamarack. Suddenly it's a real winter here and we get some fairly deep snow. Uh, I got the gators on now. <clears throat> End of the thicket we go. There's the cable. Got some nice little maple trees in here that I'm I'm uh, I'm hoping to thin out around and let them grow up tall. I have a nice little sugar bush for maple syrup. So I was able to climb up this little hemlock and position that choker and the cable up a little bit higher. And uh, as a result of that, I can get a little more leverage. So, gotta tune this up anyway a little bit.
I feel like this could go right where I want it to without the use of the cable if I tap on these wedges a little bit more. I'll give them a little bit more, uh, another tap or two, and then I'll head out and pull it down. There it goes. Cool. Well, I, uh, I like to be out in the uh, field just kind of for the view, but I mean, this is easier. And I think I'll save that little hemlock, but this is nice. Opens up some sky for these uh, young maples in here and a little bit more morning light. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that was successful. And there's a bunch more two by fours. Interior framing. a lot of work. All right, I'll go drag those tops away. This bit of sky up there has opened up. Was that? It's long, steep, these chains I can get through it. Okay, now I gotta uh, measure it to the length I want, which is 11 feet. But I gotta, I gotta try to get as much of this out in one fell swoop as possible, which is hard because it's a giant, you know, it's a giant log. It's a 50 foot log right now, so the tractor can't really pull all that. But it would, uh, I wouldn't have to cut other trees if I can pull it all at once. So I'll see what I can do here. Get that right there. Let's see what I can get out of here. Well, once again, I'm surprised, although I shouldn't be by the 
great power of that winch um, to be able to pull that. I don't know how much it weighs. Somebody out there maybe does, but oh, I don't know. Uh, many thousands of pounds uphill through the thicket. And uh, by doing so, I'm able to preserve this small uh, uh, maple maple grove that I'm trying to uh, trying to foster. So I'm going to come through in the spring and the summer and thin out the little ugly ones, but I'm and the moose maple and stuff. And I'm selecting for the sh sugar maples that are in here and a couple beech and oak here and there. But plugging away. Yeah, that's uh, that's another pile of. Pile lumber, the easy way. <laughs> Good size stump. And I got a little path now, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Frankly, because it's a slog getting through this stuff now. It's kind of heavy snow today. I don't know. That might live, it might not. We'll see. Uh, and there it is. I'm going to leave that right where it is. I've got uh, no reason to move this. It's up on a log, and uh, I can cut it to a different length when I'm ready to mill it. I can nip this crook, that bend out of there, and get an eight foot log out of there, and a 12 and a 10 out of this. So, looking pretty good. was about one GoPro's battery so I can start measuring time by that almost out um, more uh, more morning Sun more light for those uh, maple saplings that I'm hoping to get a little sugar orchard out of and uh, more two by fours for the uh, interior framing so win 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 <laughs> oh it's a beautiful quiet day. I think I'm gonna take it easy for a little while now. Yep. Thanks for watching.
<coughs> oh, All right, well, it's about six degrees Fahrenheit this morning and uh, the wind is blowing a gale. So it feels like, oh, probably negative 10, some, some madness like that. Oops, daisy. And uh, the sun has gotten me out doing some sawmilling. But everything's a little bit harder when it's this cold. Uh, I gotta keep everything kind of running, gotta keep the diesel going, keep that thing gelling up. So, but it's a good day to make some 2x4s. It's time for breakfast. I'm going to park this in such a way that I leave the fuel system dust devils of snow. I'm going to park this in such a way that I leave the fuel system exposed to the sun and I hope that uh, the diesel doesn't gel too much when I'm up eating breakfast. But I'm going to come down and get the rest of that log, that tree that I milled yesterday, or er, dropped yesterday, get that milled up into more 2x4s. Rue Tal. Oh. Two by sixes look good though. What is this here? Roofing blowing around. That's what it is. Roofing. Ah, oh, next winter. Day like this in there. Nice and cozy. Hopefully. Bare feet, perhaps? Flip flops. Maybe I'll go with flip flops. Oh, as people say, it's like eating an elephant. And I have to remember that, but. Oh, man, these steel toed boots are nice and solid and safe, but. Day like this, my toes are hurting. They're cold, but it's all part of the game, I guess, right? Oh, the driveway. I wonder how many times I've walked up and down this at this point. Uh, there's no way of knowing. But the plow rig keeps it good and clear. Very, very passable. All right, breakfast.